good afternoon <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't get back to you sooner but um I, I was i've been really busy which is nice um on um on saturday my daughter rang me up to see if i wanted to go to a garden center with her um and it, it's one near wigan called bent's actually one of the viewers recommended it but i have been before a few years ago I have to say it's the most amazing garden centre I've been to. I mean, Barton Grange is beautiful, but this one, honestly, th there was room after room of different things, you know, lots to see, lots to do. Uh, and you can take dogs in, which I thought was nice. Um, inside, especially, you know, normally you can't take dogs inside. So anybody who, you know, wanted to take a dog out for the day, they could go there, call there on the way back or something. And it was beautiful. The things were beautiful. I, I, I couldn't video because there was far too many people there with it being a Saturday. So what I thought I'd do, I did, I took a load of still photos and I'll just put, pop them on at the end of the video so you can see them. So you can either look at them or, or not, you know, it's up to you. But it is worth a visit and I will put the postcode in the description box. Um. And then on Sunday, it was such a nice day. My son cut the grass for me, so I was really pleased about that. And then yesterday, um, we always, in the summer, we go bowling on a Monday morning, um, my friend and I. And um, we never thought we'd ever be bowlers, because <laughs> it seems like you're really, really old, doesn't it? When you, Sort of thing when you do when you're really old. I always think of Mrs Mangle on Neighbours in a little bowling outfit. <laughs> you know with a little white skirt no we don't do that we do sometimes wear a cap though um but we started and we, and we really enjoy it we enjoy meeting the people you know they they do they have some nice trips and that uh, anyway in the winter obviously we don't bowl but we just play darts so it's something i mean I'm, it's a bonus if we get them in the dart bulb. <laughs> but anyway we go and have a coffee so and then yesterday i was just busy shopping in the afternoon sorting things out and looking after these two little doggies <laughs> one betsy's coming here i think out of mabel's way mabel's been trying to chase a squirrel around the garden so i don't think she's used to seeing them um well i've got a few things that, um a couple of things to show you and then I'll just tell you about my Christmas decorations, which is a, another story. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this. It's from Aldi and it's a CC cream. I think it's £3.99 or it might be £5.99. I'm not sure. But the thing, I mean, I've put it on today. And the thing I like about it, it's got 50 SPF in. Um, which is really important nowadays, isn't it, to use an SPF with the ozone layers and all that and when we were younger we didn't know about sun damage um younger ones today are aware of it but we didn't you know i mean i can remember you used to put things like oil and vinegar on to catch the sun and things like i can remember my auntie sitting there with a great big tin foil a big she covered a piece of cardboard up with tin foil to reflect the sun on her to get a suntan i mean now it's a no-no isn't it um, and I, in the summer, I do try and put an SPF on under um, my makeup, even when, especially when I'm bowling. But I thought this was really good because it's got a 50 in. Um, they probably should have brought it out at the beginning of summer, really. But um, anyway, I've bought one and I do quite like it. It's quite a nice coverage, you know. So for I think it was three ninety nine. Um so I'm just telling you that while they're in store, you know, because you, you might not be able to get them. I'm sure they'll sell out quick. Now, the other thing I was going to tell you was about my Christmas decorations. I have taken quite a few bags to the charity shop, but my husband, my husband died 10 years ago and he died at Christmas, um, just before Christmas, 17th of December. And it was his birthday on the 22nd, which was sad. So, although we love Christmas, it's tinged with a bit of sadness. So, the year that he died, I said, I'm not putting any Christmas decorations up. You know, I, I couldn't face getting my Christmas tree out of the loft. And obviously, up until that, he'd been ill. So, we hadn't, you know, even thought about Christmas. But then a couple of days before Christmas, my daughter said, you know, Dad wouldn't want you not to have any anything up, you know. So, we just nipped a Tesco. It was like about two days before Christmas and they've reduced everything. And we picked this pre-lit tree up that was reduced to about £20. 
um, and a bag of multicolour baubles, which really were horrendous. Well, they weren't my colour, they were like all vibrant colours. But it was just, we just put it up and that was it, you know, we didn't do anything else. But you just felt like you got a bit of a token, you know. Um, anyway, I thought, I've still got that tree up in the loft. I thought, because I usually, I did... I haven't put one up it up for a couple of years but i wanted to put one up in my back room i have a front room and a back room um and like my lounge and dining room type of thing and um but i thought oh perhaps i need a new tree because it is like 10 years old it I didn't particularly choose it you know for its style or anything it was just for its convenience anyway i rooted around in the loft and i found it along with bags and bags of decorations I've taken two carloads to the charity shop. <laughs> and then the funny thing is, when I went to bowling yesterday, <laughs> the lady, one of the ladies said, oh, has anybody got any spare Christmas decorations? And I just dropped them off at the charity shop the day before. Because <laughs> the one by us is open on a Sunday, luckily. Or unluckily for the bowling club. <laughs> <laughs> anyway I got this tree down and I thought well I'll have a look see if I need to buy another so I sprayed it with a bit of artificial snow which was a bit unsuccessful it looked nice when I'd done it but it all came off anyway I trimmed it up to see what it looked like well it looked okay I thought oh it looks quite nice I'll keep it so now I've got a trimmed up tree in my back room which is a little bit early but anyway <laughs> I've got that so I'll show you that later on and so I've changed my autumn wreath at the back here. Can you see? That's the one my daughter made me, but I'm going to put that on the front door at an appropriate time. So I have got another one that's just all berries um, that I'm going to put up there. And then another thing I was going to talk to you about is I've, I've had a few people approach me uh, to show the things, you know, to gift me things and show them. But unless it's something that I want, that I would buy or I think is really nice is all on my style um I'm not I haven't really taken anybody up and I mean a couple of things were age related like blood pressure monitors and things like that no Charlotte Tilbury makeup or a glossy box or anything like that for me <laughs> but anyway this um I got an email from a lighting company um, and they asked me if I wanted, if they could send me some Christmas lights and if I'd look at them and, and just review them for them online. Well, I love Christmas lights, so of course I said yes. Anyway, when I've got them, I have to say I'm really, really impressed with them. Um, they came via Amazon because I was a bit bothered about giving out my address, you know. Uh, but anyway, they came via Amazon, which was good. And... Um, Oh, my dog's just walking through the mom <laughs> Betsy. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you them. And I wanted to tell you now because they've got a big sale on. They've got a sale on from the 16th to the 26th of November. So um, quite a big discount. So if you look on. And the company's called Olney. So that's O-L-L-N-Y. Um, and these are, what they sent me was 200 low energy low voltage decorative lights and i think they go inside or outdoors um which is lovely um and anyway when i opened them up i thought they were really good these are them but what i like about them is can you see there's 200 there what i'm going to do is i'll probably put them in one of my trees and i'll i'll show you them when i've put them up but you got this remote control with them now on this remote control is a timer so you can switch them on and off i switch them off i'm not going to put the time on but you can have it for eight hours eight hours on eight hours off um and you can have it you can dim them and you can do all sorts of things with them well i like warm white lights well just let me show you i'll switch them on now that's lovely isn't it but can you see you can have it so that they change colour, which I thought was amazing. So, oh, you can have them on a six hour timer as well. So you can have them, number one is steady on, which is probably what I would do because I do like warm white lights. Um, then number two is steady on, but with the multicolour. 
Isn't that amazing that you can change them like that? Then the next one is like a mixture. I don't know if you can see. I'll show you them when they're up. I'll put them up in a tree or something. And then that's a mixture when they're brighter. Then you can have like a soft glow. Look at that. That's really nice, isn't it? I might change the colours. I don't know. And then what's the next one? It says breathing. We'll see what that is. Oh, they go up and down. And then flash, which I don't like. I don't like a flash, but some people do. And then a different flash. And a slow fade. And a 3D animation. I don't know what earth that is. Can you see? Aren't they beautiful? I spent this morning untangling my icicle lights that I've got for outside. And then you can have a combination. Can you see it just changes from the... That's really nice, isn't it? Anyway, another thing that I did like about these lights... I'm just going to switch them off now. Another thing that I really liked about them is that you can link sets together. I can do this with my garden lights that I have in my garden, which is good. So you can put loads and loads of lights up and only need, you can put, I think you can link up to three sets. Um, and what they do is they clip in here to the next, the next set, uh, which I thought was really good because you could have a massive display and just have one, one plug. You know, because that's always a pain, isn't it, at Christmas? I know last year I bought, I think I got them from Aldi. Um, it was like um, a box, an outdoor box with like four, a four extension plug in. And that was very good, you know. So anyway, these are really, and, and they're on sale, as I say. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the discounts are. Um, it's sort of, you spent so much, you got... 20% off or something um but also they sent me a code an extra code um which will get you another five percent I think you get five percent off you as well off your first order and then you'll get another discount code if you use my discount code which I'll put in the description box um anyway I just thought I'd tell you about those because that's something that I really like and I don't mind promoting something that I like or I mean they did gift me those I haven't paid for them so thank you very much Olney Olney <laughs> thank you very much um I, I do appreciate them I will enjoy them and I may order some more in the sale but I've spent ages Jimmy this morning untangling my um christmas lights oh i've got icicle ones i put outside well it was a funny story really because i i paid somebody to put them up last year because i didn't fancy my son going up a ladder because he fell off the roof a couple of years ago and broke his ankle really badly he broke his talus bone and i thought i'll have to nag him to do it anyway so so i paid somebody it's a window cleaner um that it, it, at christmas it, it puts lights up you know it, it, and you're paying to put them up and paying to bring them down well he put them all up um and he did a really good job and then i never got around we, we managed to get the lower ones down but the upper ones i kept meaning to ring him and then i never did and then it's only about well, I bet it's only about six weeks ago, my son, I mean, I never had them on. I don't think anybody would notice. But my son said, oh, mum, they're all hanging down. And he'd managed to get them down, like leaning out the window or something and, and, and unclipping them. But the thing is now we want to put them back up again. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get in contact with this window cleaner again. But it's a good little business for them, isn't it, at Christmas? And give them a little bit of extra Christmas money because they must lose money during um the winter wasn't they in the winter um because everybody doesn't have the windows cleaned as much i don't think anyway i'm just before i what i'm going to do is i'm going to um show you i'll show you my tree <laughs> which is very early now you know i say i really like traditional colors which i do well 
scrap that because I've done this one. I had, I've got a touch of, um, in my room, I've got a touch of like a, oh, what, a turquoisey colour, like a, a peacocky colour in my wallpaper. You'd hardly notice it. And I thought, oh, I had a load of decorations that were that colour. And and then I've I just bought a couple more. And so I've done it with, with them. <laughs> so you can have a look and see what you think. It's very early, I know. <laughs> it's only about the 16th of December, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, not December, November. I've never put them up this early before. Anyway, I'll I'll just show you them. So this is the tree. See, it doesn't look too bad now. It's it's dressed up, does it? Excuse the dog's bed full of toys. <laughs> And I bought that, um, can you see the um, this the thing that goes around the bottom? I don't know what you call them, like this stand. I thought that was quite pretty. I know everybody's into the basket weave ones, but I quite like that one. Um, it's like a metal one. Yeah, I thought it was quite pretty, that this tree. And I'll just show you this. This is a bottle that my friend did for me. Isn't it nice? And these are Robins. I've just bought these from Aldi. I think they were £14.99. I love Robins. Aren't they sweet? So this, they, can you see the, um, I've put them in the trees. Probably would have been better if I'd have waited till dark actually. Can you hear the seagulls? Aren't they pretty? You see the colours are changing. I'll see if I can do it with the uh, remote. Then I'll change the... I'll change the sequence, can you see? Aren't they pretty? They do look really nice. They'll look lovely when it's dark. Look at all the autumn leaves. Everything. It's lovely, isn't it? But they need sweeping up. <laughs> that's my garden. And that's Mabel and Betsy. Oh, the lights are flashing now. Can you see them? It's a bit darker now, so you get more of an idea. I'll just show you the different colors. Still not properly dark, but it's, you know, a lot darker. I am really thrilled with these lights. I'm just going through some of the programs. As <laughs> you can see the flashing ones. That one's quite nice. Right, so I hope you like those lights. I thought I think they're amazing. And the discount code is O L L N Y T Y. So it's the it's the name of the company which is O L L N Y Olney. And my discount code is T Y. 
and that gets you an extra 5% off and that's forever. So keep looking at the website, you know, see if there's something you like. And when you do go on, it will say US or, uh, but you need to click on UK and then you'll see, um, because I think I'm going to order some, I'm, I'm in need of some new icicle lights and I've just had a look on there. They do have icicle lights. So I might buy some of them in the sale. We'll just have to see. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope I hope you liked it. And um, if you've got any ideas of videos for me, ju just let me know. Um, and uh, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you like it, tick the like button. And if you tick the bell, I feel like I'm advertising here. I am really. <laughs> and if you tick the bell, you'll get notified when I upload another video. I I have got another one to do this week because I have done a few shopping buys, but this would have been far too long if I'd have put it on that. Um, and so I have got a few things to show you, like some buys of the week. Nothing too exciting, but you might like them. Okay, anyway, bye for now.